Welcome to Control. This video explains how you can build business workflows for repetitive tasks and manage them using Control's orchestration. Orchestration consists of four steps, creating a form, designing a blueprint, setting permissions, and reviewing the workflow before publishing the orchestration. Let's look at a case study. Zilker, an IT company, is looking to automate their reimbursement process for employees to file day-to-day -day claim requests. To build this workflow using orchestration, we can first create a form to collect the reimbursement details. Second, design blueprints to automate the reimbursement process step-by-step. -step. Third, set permissions for users to access and create requests for the reimbursement. And finally, review and publish the orchestration. To create an orchestration, navigate to Settings and click the New Orchestration button. Enter the orchestration name and description, then click Save. You will be directed to the first step of orchestration, Create the Form. A form is used to collect information from end users. Each form uses different types of fields to collect different data about the process. You can add new fields or reuse fields from previously created forms from the available fields tray. For example, to add a field to collect the employee's name, drag and drop the single line field from the new fields tray onto the form. The field title helps you identify the field across all forms, and you can reuse the same field in other forms with a modified label name. Here, let's set the field title as name and the field label as employee name. You can reuse this field with different label names like candidate name or student name in other forms. The default value option allows you to provide a predefined value for the field. This value can also be edited when the user fills the form. Under validation, you can set character limits for the field. Enable Mandatory to make it mandatory for a value to be filled in the field before the form is submitted. Enabling Visibility ensures that the field is visible when the form is filled in by users. Enable Encrypt if you wish to secure the data entered in a particular field, or enable Mask to hide the field value with asterisks. Once the properties are configured, you can provide access to these fields based on user profiles by configuring set privileges. Once the form is ready, click on Save and Next to navigate to the Design Blueprint tab. Blueprints help you define the workflow step-by-step -step and recreate your offline business processes which are split into individual steps. You can add stages in the pop-up. Stages are the steps in your business process. Enter the stage names and click the Add to Blueprint button. After the stages are added to the blueprint, you can see a rough outline of the workflow. Click on each stage to edit the stage name, type, or set deadlines and alerts. Once an employee has submitted a request, the New Reimbursement Request stage sends an early reminder alert about the new request to the HR associate who needs to review it. If you want to add more stages to the blueprint, type the stage name in the search bar of the right panel and click Add. Existing stages can also be added in the same way. The link between two stages is called a transition. Transitions are conditions for moving to the next stage. You can also predefine actions to take place before, during, or after a transition. You can provide and edit the transition details between the stages here. In the Before Transition tab, select Users, Roles, or Teams who can perform the transition in the card, and then set a criteria with suitable conditions to filter the cards. Zilker only allows the development team to perform the Debug Issue transition, while the transition's criteria allow cards from all teams to pass through this transition. You can also automate your transition by time or condition if you do not require any manual input to proceed to the next stage. The During Transition table allows you to update field values during the business process. You can also create new fields to be updated during the transition. 
configure the extensions to be performed during the transition by checking the widgets checkbox. In the After Transitions tab, you can configure two different action sequences, Instant Actions and Scheduled Actions. Actions you can add include sending an email to a specific user or team, updating fields, just like in the During Transition section, and configuring webhooks and custom functions. Once the blueprints are configured, click the Save and Validate button to validate your blueprint. After validation, you'll be navigated to the next step. In the Set Permissions tab, provide permissions for which users can create and access cards. Under Create Cards, select Org Users to allow all users in the organization to create cards using this form, or select Specific Users to allow only specific users, teams, or roles to create cards using this form. Under Access Cards, select users, teams, or roles to give them access to the cards in this orchestration. If no selection is made here, the cards will be visible to all users. Click the Save and Next button. In the final step, you can review the newly created blueprints. Click the Validate Now button if you haven't validated a blueprint and publish the orchestration. Enable the Add a Shortcut to Access Orchestration option if you wish to add the orchestration to the top bar as a new tab. Zilker has added the Reimbursement Workflow Orchestration as a shortcut as they have 30 plus requests on a daily basis. After the orchestration is published, you can create new cards for this orchestration. We hope that you found this video helpful and enjoy using orchestration to manage your business process end to end. To learn more about using orchestration, visit the link in the description below.